hello guys welcome back in this video i will be talking about how we can test our databix notebook and how we can test the logic which is written over the databix notebook okay so please watch this video till the end so that you will understand the flow end to end okay so before going to the video i would like to introduce my courses which i had created on my website and here you can see this is the you know page and you can see i have created end to end microsoft fabric tutorial as well as a project this course you know uh, i mean it is not completed yet i am you know still i have to you know put some more videos over here right apart from this we have uh, we have this course database spice pack real time scenario interview questions if you want you can also take this course after that we have solved real time scenario problem using logic app then i have the course which is basically built on top of azure data factory uh, with the with the project you can see basic of azure data factory interview scenario based question and end to end project is covered then we have master in git and github with linux basics if you want to learn basic of uh, git and how github works then you can you know check out this course and then we have built a real time delta lake project using pyspark and databricks okay and then at last but not the least we have this built end to end azure data engineering project you can see 810 members or students have taken this course and this databricks pyspark series have been taken by 1091 students right so if you're liking this video you know and if you if you are if you're understanding my teaching then i would recommend to take out or to enroll in one of the course definitely you will love it okay so chalo, let's go back to the you know to the topic so you know what actually when we write a databricks notebook okay and when we write a code we we there we do not actually test the code test the logic right I suppose I am the person who is writing the code and you are also the person who is writing the code and suppose I both the guys have to write the same logic then why will I write the same notebook and you will also write the same notebook I mean the same code right it's better to create some data as create some functions module some packages so that you know the common function can be used by the or, or other developers right so that we can save our development time right so the same thing what you had done what i had done is that you can assume this mission is, is a kind of project folder or a workspace right inside this i have you know created one folder called utilities under this i have created one notebook called transformer underscore function here what I had done is that I created here two functions like say add column and it is taking first parameter as a data frame and then new column which which should be a string which should be a string and the value and it returns a data frame right now this is the logic correct like df dot with column with column uh, you know with column new column lit value so whatever column i'm going to pass over here that will be treated as a new new column and here i can pass some constant value okay whether it is a you know integer string whatever it is and then we have i mean i have created another function called you know remove underscore space so what does it, what does it do is that it removes the spaces between the column names not from the values right from the column names i'm talking about the same thing i have written over here that you know df dot select and you know for i in df dot column from this uh, from with the help of this this formula or this statement i will get the column names right and then i am i am i am i am removing the space and replacing it with underscore one by one right that's what i had done now suppose i need to use this this function and i mean these two functions are common function right i also want to use and you also want to use in your project or in your notebook then that's why i have created i mean we we we, we both guys have created this kind of notebook okay uh, right right now now what i will uh, now since we have these two functions right add, add column remove spaces now how will you know or how i know that this function whatever the logic i have written it's it's working correctly right we do not know right so so what 
we uh, what we have done first you know we use this function you know just i written here percent run and the path of the notebook where the function is being written right and all these things are over here and you know with the help of this function transform function i am making a data frame chain so what does it mean that i just created a kind of dummy or a sample uh, you know data frame here you can see we have id student space name and age right so here what i have done i written like df this df dot transform is a function and inside this i can pass the function what i have created in the previous notebook remove spaces so if we if we do not have any if we do not have any parameters in the function like remove underscore space does not have any parameter or attribute right that's why i didn't pass anything but for the add column we have two we have two arguments basically we had three the data frame but we will we do not write here data frame it will automatically take from here right so we just need to pass the other other attributes apart from data frames so you know uh, country is a column name and india is a constant value now when i ran this then you can see we have a new column called country and the name is i mean the value is india 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 right now i had done is i i had done this now how would you understand how would you knowing that you know this the function what we had created that is correct so we have to run the notebook we have to run the logic we have to test the logics right before i mean after that only we will run our main notebook see after running this test underscore transform underscore functions we if it is succeeded then only i will run my main underscore logic notebook right so here what i had done i just imported you know those functions you know and then i have installed this pip i mean pip install nutter nutter is a kind of library okay which is developed by microsoft only and this is the link you can just go over here and understand uh, everything in detail right and now let's go back and here you know here what i had done we we just need to write this statement like from runtime dot nutter fixture import nutter fixture and tag and then we have to create a kind of class so for now i just written there my test fixture you can write it down any name and then inside this we have to pass this nutter fixture and and then <coughs> if you already know about the pi type pi test or unit test right so there we need there whenever we creating a test cases right so we have to start the test 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 name from the test underscore that function name but here we have to start like assertion assertion and then uh, your function name whatever it could be right so like so let's say i had created a function with the with the name add columns right so i just use the same call uh, same function name so that it will be easy to understand about the you know test uh, i mean it it will be easier to understand the definition of the uh, definition of the you know function right so i just written here assertion underscore the column i mean the you know the method name the function name and then here i created a kind of schema i mean uh, a data set you know this is a kind of input data set and then this is a kind of expected data frame okay this is the expected data frame and this is the in this is the input data frame now what i had done i just uh, call that function uh, you know the function which we had created and here i i pass this data frame df df dot and df comma what i am passing here means a kind of column right i am i need to create and this 2023 as a constant value that's what i have written over here like right in the expected data frame also and then i am just checking it whether you know these two data frames are equal or not the the same thing i have done for the for the second function called you know uh, remove underscore spaces right assertion underscore remove underscore spaces the same thing i have done right this is the you know input data frame and this is the you know uh, output data frame and then i am just checking whether these both things are correct or not i mean matching or not after that what i had done we what we need to do is that we need to write here my text fixture i mean the class name dot execute test so automatically it will take the test name test 
test things text functions which start from the assertion and then print to string we need to write it down so let me just quickly run it and will show you you know how it works correct so it will just take a few seconds and then we can understand the things remove space is not found one minute uh, maybe i missed it remove spaces right but it is not coming Okay, now it is running. Now you can see passing test, right? So suppose if I just change the name to assertion one, right? And if I run this again, now this function will not be created as a test case. Okay, now you can see only one function is being, I mean, is, is coming, right? So that's why we have to append or not append as we have to add the assertion at a, as a, a prefix right as a prefix you know now it will show you know these two things suppose i if i have if i change the uh, data data let's say if i change here 24 right now in this case the input and the output data set will not match now you can see there is an assertion error okay i mean the test case fail only one test case passed right so that's what you know uh, we can uh, we can do this testing uh, kind of thing okay in the notebook itself otherwise you can also create a package and um, i mean you can get a package a whl package wheel package and then you can also do the stuff now if you want to run this function then you can you know simply write percent run this this and then you can easily run this thing right with the help of transform chain you can actually you know uh, write the code so it is very important if you are working on a project and if you do not know uh, till now so please you know include these things in your you know day-to-day -day, you know day-to-day -day, day -day activity in your current company so that you can get a good hike if you just tell to your you know leaders or you to your manager that you know we can improve the uh, code uh, code things right or you know how we write the logics in the notebook then you may get the good advantages Chalo. thank you bye bye we'll meet in the next lecture i hope that you will take my courses definitely you will love it if you take okay so thank you bye bye